here, and I'm going to be better than fill in the blank here. And you will not reach the same level of consciousness. You will not see, achieve the same level of success as in uh, 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 compared to if you had said, I'm going to be the best that I can be. I am going to be better than I was before. But even then, I accept where I was before. And uh, I will accept where I'm at now in the future when I'm, I'm even more powerful and more in my presence. It's a very important distinction to make because, again, that is your guys' great greatest challenge is that intensity. Um, at this point, you guys have, have gone through your Saturn return, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Every one of you have gone through your Saturn return, have uh, lived through a couple decades in this energy. You've seen the hypocrisy uh, as well as the gifts that the previous generations have to offer. And you see the generations that follow you and how much they, that you have to offer them. As well as they have to offer you, sure. But truly, Uranus and Scorpio is the forerunner, the pioneer on this planet in this time for the generations that follow. Any generation, of course, but especially mine of Pluto and Scorpio. We really have learned so much from you guys and are continuing to learn so much and always will. Um, so it's really important to, to get your life straight, you know, to, to figure your emotions out to have the courage to plumb those depths. Now, go at your own pace. Again, don't let the lower level of Scorpio energies overcome you of obsession, of fanaticism. Don't chase power out of these motivations. Seek power naturally. It's not even so much... What can you say seek power? Seek growth, development, understanding. That's what true power is. And that's how you'll accomplish even more than you've accomplished up until this point. Exponentially more. I have huge hopes. In fact, I predict that this generation, being so tuned into understanding consciousness and pushing it forward, and astrology is very much included in that. You guys have wonderful gifts and, and insights to bring to astrology of utilizing this information to bring about deep emotional rebirths that truly do propel you and the world forward to higher vibrations of understanding, of love, harmony, consciousness. It's going to be incredible in the decades uh, to come to see what you guys accomplish. And already, I, I love being around this generation. And uh, whether it's friends or I'm a bandmate of this generation, it's... the power that you guys exude and yet it's not just the power the the emotional sensitivity that you guys exude is wonderful and indeed that is where your guys true power lies is that sensitivity is that willingness to be vulnerable generations before you weren't willing to be vulnerable Ge some generations after you weren't willing to be vulnerable. I love Uranus and Sag, the generation between your gen your guys' generation and my own of Uranus and Cap. Um, I think they're like 81 to 88, something like that. I love that generation, but they don't have the same depth that you guys have. In fact, they run away from those depths. They have their own gifts to offer the world and whatnot. Um, but when it comes to emotional understanding, healing, true growth... And, and just sensitivity and, and psychic power. You are the generation that is pushing us all forward as per Uranus energies. Again, Pluto and Scorpio, we have our role. Neptune and Scorpio has its role. Those who have Saturn and Scorpio. And I believe Saturn was in Scorpio during Uranus and Scorpio. It's an interesting conjunction. We'll have to explore that in another video. Um, they all have their roles, but again... Yes, it has its challenges, but Uranus and Scorpio is a wonderful, beautiful energy of, of just power, of wisdom, emotional wisdom. And you guys are just growing all the time. So I really urge you, for your sake and for the entire world's sake, to explore your emotional depths. Don't be dissuaded from, from doing so by older generations, their fears. Neptune and Scorpio has a lot of fears when it comes to the depths because it's just so mysterious to them it's so dark to them and again some of those um, members of those generations have accomplished wonders but 
no matter what, of any generation, don't be limited by other people. You are more in connection to the collective unconscious than any other generation as per Uranus energies. You are more in connection with how everyone around the world is feeling, how what what we need sexually, what we need in our spirituality, what we need in our in our emotions, in our emotional life. And you do have a wonderful keen insight into power. So all those gifts develop, please, for your sake and for all of our sakes. You're more powerful than you know. And it's important to dedicate that power to something positive. If you do all that, if you recognize your power and dedicate it to something worthwhile, you will be warriors of progress in this world. But you won't do so in, in violent ways. You won't do so in really challenging ways. Because again, violence is just perpetuating the problem. You can't use violence to have a long-term solution. It just doesn't work. So if you shed all of that, if you become a warrior for peace and progress in this world, In fact, when you do, because I have that much faith in this generation, it's in your guys' destiny to do this, to make the world more peaceful, to go into the, the greatest depths. And again, you have help in this, Neptune and Scorpio, Pluto and Scorpio, to go into the greatest depths of the psyche, of the collective unconscious, and to exercise those demons, to finally purge all that hate and negative emotion and pain suffering and misunderstanding and to take again that suffering and pain and turn it into strength and purpose yeah we're all in this together the last couple of decades have seen huge growth as per the collective unconscious and huge growth as per numbers too there's more and more people on this planet every day so it's important that we keep going always and it's important that we explore our emotional depths and help each other too. Pay attention to your instincts. Always pay attention to your instincts. They'll guide you in ways that no other sense can. And for God's sakes, please, keep exploring sex. Have fun with it. It's, oh my God, I can't even begin to tell you how much my generation has benefited from your guys' sexual openness and breaking of tattoos. And it'll continue. It'll simply continue. <sighs> Namaste. Yeah, counseling, whether giving or receiving, in fact both, would be an absolutely wonderful outlet for you guys, your natural psychologist, for sure. As well as energy work, uh, Reiki would be incredible. You guys have absolutely just natural talent for that. And anything, again, anything that explores the emotional depths and seeks comprehension. <sighs> 